was a movie agent. Like, no, but it had relevance. She nailed it. I did. Uh, you turned right. Who I tied? Well, we came back. Again. I come back. Again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, quickly. Yeah, quickly, quickly. quickly. One of those. One yeah. of those. One of those. One of those. Welcome back to Story Time. We're here today with Sylvan Gacy, an incredible friend of mine, and a very well-known activist, actor, and just all-out legend that's killing the game in South Africa. So, thank you for coming in today, man. It's an absolute pleasure. So good to be here. I was yeah. late. Very not like me to be late. Um, the only time I ever want to be late is when I want to make a lady pregnant, and then she's late with a period, and then she's pregnant, and then you have a kid. And, and then I have a kid. But anything else, I don't want to be late for anything in life. Okay, Unless, so there's only that one time. Yeah, that one time. I want to be late. And then we get a little mini. So I say. Late, we late. You not late. We late. We're saving money. Because you made We're saving money on sanitary pads, periods, and you know. There we go. This is what I'm doing. I'm in it. I'm trying to. We're pregnant. So I was late. So that's only the second time. It happens. So it's a very, very busy man. He's just got back from LA. I was in LA and Seattle and Turkey. And Turkey. And how was it? I needed it, man. I lost my mother two months ago. And. As you see me sitting here, uh, I seem on it. Mm-hmm. Um, and my soul is broken. I'm mm-hmm. I'm twenty percent of the man I usually am, and mm-hmm. I'm running on autopilot. And thank goodness my mm-hmm. autopilot is excellence and uh, mm-hmm. consistency. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I miss the man I was. Uh, I hate the world without her, mm-hmm. and I, I I miss being loved and seen by um, by someone who's loved and saw me the way she did. And um, no man, it's it's, it's the, the worst, 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 worst time of my life, mm. and um, I'm sitting here, uh, a fraction of the man I was mm. before the 11th of August, mm. and I needed uh, Turkey. Turkey is a beautifully spiritual place. I'm not religious at all, but mm. it's the beautiful. I'm just trying to, just trying to live in a world where I think I did everything I did to impress her and make her proud of me, and now I don't have her here. Mm. And I have to do things to make myself proud, and mm. I realize that my only, my only, um, my biggest, uh, my biggest, um, what's the word? My biggest, my why was her. Mm. And um, when you lose your why, you have to like um, learn how to be. Like reestablish that 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 foundation, yeah. right? So now I'm mm. I'm lost. Mm. I'm, uh, I'm a fraction of the man that I was, mm. and you, because you, of the, you, because of the skills she gave me, I'm mad enough to admit that. Mm. But I'm, I'm uh, mm. but I'm lucky that I'm lucky that she instilled what she instilled in me mm. that I can cope. Mm. I, I'm not coping. Mm. I'm, I'm an autopilot. Well, everyone else might think you are, but. In the I'm, I'm, I'm fucked, um, yeah. but um, but yeah. Now I'm just having to learn how to cope. Yeah, yeah. I'm learning. How, I'm having to learn how to live um, a fraction of the man that I was. It's a, it's a, it's a strange. I mean, I haven't mm-hmm. had to go through this yet. Thank, thank the Lord. But it's a, it's a strange time in life. Where as a man mm-hmm. who's got this career and this image mm-hmm. and this presence and this mm-hmm. boldness, whatever how fundamental your mother is regardless of your age or where you are in life oh, that's and I, it's, it's difficult to fathom the idea of like you said you not, not the man you were before I've never thought of it like that I've, 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 I've known that there would be sadness and despair yeah. in this moment yeah. but I've never no, no. reverted it back to me and gone like shit it's actually going to change me no no it's, a, it's, not a, it's changed me it has changed me Mm. Um, um, but, but one thing it has done there's a focus that I have that I've never had before mm. um, but there's a carefreeness I'm not careless but I care less I it's see. a fine line I'm not careless I but see. I care less why? because you, but you're in a state now of seeing the importance of things that are really no I've lost it all I don't give a fuck about anything else Yeah. everything else doesn't matter Yeah. everything else is irrelevant everything yeah. else is when I found out that she's dead, I, I didn't mind dying. Mm. Uh, people have said that before, and I think that sounds cliche, but like, I, I laugh at people who hate me because if you hated me before and the things I was achieving, just wait 
what are the kind of things that I have the potential to achieve now? Why, why do you think people hate you? Why do you think that that's... Because I'm a, great. I don't know. I'm great. Yeah. And I'm unapologetically great. Mm-hmm. Um, I think there's an unapologeticness of me that society isn't ready for. Okay. I, I watched a documentary of Muhammad Ali recently and it's eight hours of him and he was speaking and the world was not ready for someone to say I'm the greatest. Uh, they weren't. Yeah. And I'm unapologetic about my greatness. Yeah. Um, someone asked me in an interview, who is my hero? And I said, my hero is, the, is me in the future. It is, of the man I have the potential to be. Mm. That is my absolute hero. Mm. For me, I think I have potential to do great things and change many lives and um, do great things. And, I, and my definition of hell is meeting the man I could have become. Yeah. Can you imagine being in your deathbed? And then the guy you could have become if you just worked harder, smarter, and done more comes and says, if you had done this and this and this, this is you, you could have been this. Yeah. And my ambition in life is just to meet that guy and the guy on my deathbed and the guy I'm meeting is the same guy. That's my ambition in life. Yeah. Where do you think your greatness came from? My mother. Mm. My mother. My mother, my mother, my mother instilled things of like, for example, my friend's kid said to me today, Hey, I got served. I got two wickets and two catches. Instinctively, my next question is, But did you win? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's the exact same thing I'd ask. I scored a goal. Yeah, yes, but was did, it the winning goal? Did you win? Um, <laughs> weird, this is going to sound very weird, but a few, week, a few weeks ago, a friend of mine had a woman come up to her, two women, and say, Seth was with both of us in the same week and he never called us again and he never saw us again. And my competitive self was like, that's nonsense. There's no way I'm going to see a girl once because what if I didn't do the job right? Uh. I had to see more than once so you can tell her friends how incredible I was in bed. Uh. So I called out and I said, no, you're lying. There's no way I would have seen you once. Because my ego needs to make sure that I did the job. That I leave you happy. Leave you happy. And yeah. I'm, not, I'm not egotistical enough to think I can meet a woman for the first time and hit the spot every time. No! And on the first time. And event. on the first time. No! So wherever you are, you is lying. <laughs> and I said that to my friend. I said, she lied. Because there's no chance I would have seen her once and not try to see her again to make sure that I've done. No. Have you, have you no, found no, proof? No, no, let me tell you one thing. Did you notice how I didn't deny that I could have slept with two friends? In the same week. I'm not denying that. That could have happened. You're denying. I'm denying that I didn't call them back and I never saw them again. And another thing she said is that I dropped her at home. No! I don't drop her at home. There's Uber! <laughs> and, and my car, I haven't used my car since before COVID. My car hasn't moved. Like, I lose my car because I, you know, I, I use a motorbike. Yeah, oh, you always Sh- Shout out KTM. 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 Shout out KTM. Um, KTM? Yeah, KTM. Yes, KTM. And, 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 and my cousin moves, so I don't have a car. Like, I would have said, so I, I, there were flaws. In the, in the, in the, so, my, even my ego, my ego sometimes saves me. But, back to ego. I know I have an ego, but I will, cons- I will keep it this way because the only thing that's bigger than my ego is my heart. Mm. And the day my heart takes over, my ego takes over my heart, is the day I'll reevaluate everything. But I know I'm all heart. I'm not all ego. And I, and I live by that. Yeah. So, yeah. Shout out to the lady who thinks. Shout out to that lady. Whoever you are, you're lying. Wait, we don't even know who it is. No idea. Don't even care because you're lying. I repeat, I could have picked up with two women the same week. Who are friends? But that's not the important part. And and that's not my business. Because I'm all about, it needs to be, because people always go, I'm a single man. And people are like, no, but you're so big in women's rights. But I'm like, I'm looking for consent. Consent is what we're looking for here. We're not looking for perfect men. We're looking for consent. consent. We're, looking, we're looking for consent. We're looking for accountability, right? But in this situation, I am telling you, the possibilities of me hooking up with the same lady who are friends. This is a while ago for everyone. This is not now. A while ago, just in case I'm busy with you and you think I'm talking about no. Because a while ago, but it's a lie. Yeah, it is a lie. Uh, it was just a while ago, so we can kind of you know like it doesn't really matter yeah, anymore, yeah. right? Because I can guarantee you, since they saw you, they saw other people too now. Yeah, I'm a victim. Google. You're a victim. Yeah. So is the victim, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can't believe Seven is big hearts, the victim, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah I got yeah, a big yeah. ego. I wish, yeah. Okay. You talk on greatness, and then we were chatting prior as well, and you using that greatness 
that you've mustered from your mom's teachings. I want to understand how you take that, the person that you are, mm -hmm. and you morph it to do these opposite things that you spoke on the left hand with the mm -hmm. phone, or playing subtle hints of something different mm -hmm. in a character. How do you do that? So we interrupt this episode to thank our partners, Betsack. Betsack wake up every morning with one goal, to make the world a more comfortable place. Our ultimate goal is to make one of a kind, quality, practical furniture that brings a little extra comfort and ease into your life. So if you're tired of sitting on a shitty couch that's rock hard and you just can't get oozy and comfortable into, come to Fetsack, use the discount code below and make your purchase. I'm, you know, I, I'm busy trying to cut my show reel at the moment. The most difficult thing, that, like I watched my scenes two billion times. Mm. And uh, I think, like I said to you earlier, Come from a sporting background, you do as well. I don't want to be great in the scene. We're not, we're not looking for greatness. I'm not trying to score a try yeah. every single time. I'm not trying to pick up the biggest weight. Yeah. And that's what I'm busy and learning now. So ironically, I'm pushing away from greatness and performance. I'm look, I'm pushing for truth. Yes. Consistent truth. And but so, and see, the, this is the, okay. I I love talking on this because this is what confuses me sometimes. I think great little uh, moments of gold come out of being in the moment mm -hmm. and allowing and, and, and being allowed to play. Shout out Shannon for teaching you that. Shannon? Shannon is Shannon? Do you know Shannon on my phone? She's signed under Shannon Beast Actress. Yeah, that, that, that's Shannon, a good sum up. Do you know that you used to intimidate me? She like, still intimidates me. Even to this yeah. day, when I phone yeah. her, yeah. I know I have something to say. Yes. And one of, sometimes when I feel cut, there's a compliment since you sent me once. I still don't read it over and over. Really? Which is like, no, no, no. I, I admit it to her. So I'm, I'm very intimidated by people that are good at acting because the, the part of me goes, shit, they have something that I don't. Oh, me too. So I need to learn that one mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. So I'll obsess over it and I'll obsess over that person and why they can tick that way and I can't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me, me too. Uh, me and too. and oh. season, season one of Lioness, my first scene with Shan, I had to uh, bring her a book or she, she brings me a book and we talk on this book and why it's important in our, in our relationship sure. as mother and son. And I went into the scene sip going, I'm going to be so good that Shan's going to go, oh shit, I got to try to keep up with this kid. Mm -hmm. I was, I was adamant. I was going to come and fucking kill it. The first take, mm -hmm. Marlon Brando, the crap out of this one take wonder. And we're going and we do it. And she's like, oh, okay, cool. We do it again. She's fine. Cool. Do it again. Oh, cool. We walk out and I'm like, no man, she wasn't affected by it. You know, like it didn't hit her in the face. And we're sitting in the green room and I sit down next to her and I'm like, Shannon, I'm gonna have to be honest with you. And she's like, yeah, what's up? And this is like two months later. So you know that first scene we did together? She's like, uh huh? I said, I have to be honest with you and tell you that I walked into that scene wanting to outshine you. I wanted to be better than you. But I didn't want to be better than you because I want you to be less than. I wanted to be better than you so I could get your acceptance mm -hmm. out of it. And you'd go, shit, this kid's good. Mm -hmm. He can play ball. And she just went, and how do you feel now? And I was like, no, I, I, I feel good about it. I've got a lot to learn. And she goes, no, but was the, did you, were you in the scene? I was like, no, I was in it. I was in it because you were my focus. Oh my God. She gives she's like, so okay, much. cool. And I was like, <laughs> how are you that chill? No, no, she's just, she's fun. She's, she's just, so talented. She's so, so good. But, but, but yeah, anyway, shout out Shannon, I love you with all my heart. She was, yeah, she protected me on that set. So, um, going back to you making those decisions in a character, like now with Woman King, how do you get rid of Civ mm -hmm. and become this character, but you're still actively making those decisions of, I'm going to be vulnerable rather than this, or I'm going to pick it up like this rather than that. Because mm -hmm. that's you actively choosing to go against who you are naturally throughout the day, right? I don't think I'm a talented enough actor to really, really get rid of Siv entirely. <laughs> Do you think you need to in order to be a good actor? Um, I don't know. I just, I think truth, man. Mm -hmm. The world is how many billion people? And let's be a few hundred thousand know who Siv is. So I'll be fine. Yeah, you know, I'll be fine. Like, I'll be fine, I'll be fine. Like, I'm yeah. busy doing my show at the moment and I'm pushing away from everything that reminds people of Siv. Mm -hmm. um, and I think I'm just going to get better and better at it. I think the better I know Sylph, the better actor I can be. Mm -hmm. um, but I do see nuances of things that I'm like, physicality that I'm like, okay, that wasn't something I would do normally. Or I try to change, I my, I try change my voice really? uh, and deepen him a bit in some characters. And, um, 
but I, I think losing my mother as well has tapped into a side of me that is just like, you know, there's a pain that mm. I, I think I'm a better actor now that I have that pain than mm. I was before. There's always that debate of do you think great art comes out of places of discomfort or places mm. of pain? So I watched now something, still breathing, I did with Shannon. Yes. And we're, we're, we're both, we're all mourning and losing a friend. And I watch it now and I'm like, bro, you weren't mourning, you were, you were just sad. Mm. Mourning and grief are just another thing. Do you mm. know that? This is my mom, I lost five kilograms of muscle, not that, of muscle. Um, I literally could feel a pain in my chest. I couldn't understand what it was. Mm. It's a heartbreak. It's a heartbreak. She's broken my heart. Mm. Um, and like, there's not a moment of the day that I don't think about it. When people used to say that, I used to be like, what? A lot of bullshit. Mm. Now, bro, I'm so broken. Mm. I, love, I love you so much. And there's a, there's a, there's a weird connect. Maybe not weird. Maybe it's actually it's it's actually cool. There's a weird connect between woman king mm. and the loss of your mother mm. and the powerful figure that your mom is in your mm. life and the powerful woman figures that you've just portrayed in a film. Yeah, it, it's that's interesting enough because Woman King came out of Geneva Sort. Very excited to see it. And all I've been achieving has been condolences and congratulations. And that guy in that film needed to learn how to work with women who are powerful and strong and know they are. Yeah. Like I have had to learn my entire life how to be environmentally strong stronger because I've been yeah. raised by strong women. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes men, well, men, if you're listening to this, isn't it interesting that the first thing a lot of men say when something's happened to a woman is, oh, she was someone's sister. She was someone's wife. No. A woman's relation to someone isn't what her worth is. Mm. So it's irrelevant that she has a, a child. It's irrelevant that she has a husband. She's a person. But another thing that we men say is, we go, we need to protect our woman. Now, that is your phone. She isn't yours. Mm. She isn't ours. But there's an interesting ownership that we have as men yeah. of women. And you know, so it is an interesting kind of a thing is that we need to look at them as individuals who are just people. And a lot of the times, woman issues aren't women issues, they're human issues. And a lot of women's issues are caused by us men. Mm. And it's difficult for us to admit that kind of thing. Yeah. Like, I as a man, I'm on this weird, weird journey of acceptance that I am a problem. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a flawed we, 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 we spoke on this with a guest yeah. last week that's actually coming out this week and we got onto the topic of women having to make the decision as to whether they're willing to use their sexuality in trade for income whether it be whatever any and it's that. a language and people do use life and it's your choice to do so yeah. and, and, and also it's, it's, it's a difficult conversation to navigate as a man because I don't really, I have a view on it, mm. but the view on it is because I asked her, mm. or I asked the guest, mm. Ruby, great, awesome guest. The dancer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're yeah, talented. Yeah, 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 we, 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 yeah oh, she's such a special no, I dig, I dig and it. We were, and we were chatting to her about it, and her outlook was so open, was so free, it was so, you know, this is my opinion, but I've also seen this. <laughs> this is how I feel, but I've also seen people feel this way. You know, I would be lying to you if I said my sexuality and my naked pictures online and my pole dancing hasn't helped me go through doors. But what, at least what I do you mean doors? Doors, doors, get opportunities, get okay. things. Okay. But the difference is that I go into those spaces and I have the power. So no woman's gonna come and try to rape me, I'll overpower her. Or abuse yeah. me, I'll overpower her. Or a guy comes to work, it doesn't matter. So mm. even though I'm an exploited an opportunity and my sexuality has been used against me, at least I have the point of power. I have and power of safety of because safety. of that, yeah. A woman, it's different. Sometimes women get into scenarios that they use their sexuality, but they're still in trouble because he is stronger than her. Yeah. So it's a different, the dynamics different. So I get sexualized all the time, for different things that I do. Um, and 
it makes me like, like I walk into like rooms with briefings with like women who run events and they'd be like, Oh my goodness, it's so nice. What a shame you're gonna be having your clothes as your MC. We wish you could do it in like a speed up or something. And I'm like, oh so uncomfortable, <laughs> so uncomfortable. Like, oh, I didn't bring it to the But yeah. I'm at the point of power. Mm. I have this is a group of men and we go, Hey Ruby, let's see here, girl, I wish you had less clothing on there she is she she's not in control of that situation yeah, yeah. and this is me i'm in control it's almost like they have quotation because there shouldn't be consequence yeah whereas you don't i have no consequence or, or as a For as me, a male there's no consequence but both of them are wrong it's not let's not beat around the bush both of them are wrong and women do abuse men right but they don't do it from a point of power it's the same as a debate that black people can't be racist People are like, <gasps> what do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> you can't be racist from a point of non-power. And we say, and now people are watching and like, oh, but B E E. No. If I, if white people have been told the entire existence that they are better, that it doesn't mean it can be subconscious stuff. I can't look at you and go, you bloody white, you inferior. No, nothing in my being thinks white people are inferior. Mm. No. So that means I can't, be, I can be prejudiced, I can't be racist, right? But I believe I'm better than everyone, but I'm, not, I'm, better, than, I'm better than everyone, and I'm equal to everyone at the same time, right? Okay. I, I believe, I walk into a room and I believe that I'm great, and I believe that I'm unbelievable and I'm better, but I'm not, be, I'm not better in a place of negativity. Okay. So, so how about okay. this? I'm, doing, okay. I'm busy writing a motivational talk at the moment. Sick. It's about fighting, the analogy of the world in fighting. But it's about how fighting, boxing, blah, 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 that have been involved in, there's analogies that are, are towards life. Okay. No boxer or fighter jumps in the ring thinking he's going to lose. No. You exactly. cannot. So I can't walk into the room thinking I'm the 50th best in the room. No. I have to think I'm the best every single time I walk into that room. I see what, okay. Yes. I see the relevance but I will of it not. I see. But same thing in boxing or in any other sport that's fighting, combat sport. You may think you're better, but don't underestimate. Mm. And mistreat someone and put them a level below. Mm. And that's how I walk into every room. Mm. Like there's a camera guy there. I make more money than him. Right? But on set, I'm no better than him. People on set treat me better than him, but I'm no better. I'll have a conversation with him, we'll talk about his family, I'll have a great time. But in the hierarchy on set, I, bet, I, I paid more money than him, I'm technically better than him, but I don't believe it's that bullshit. But if we if it gets to the point of him going, I'm like, hey, relax, I'm more money than you. And technically on the hierarchical scale of the set, I'm, I'm more important than you. But I would never do that. I've never been forced yeah. to do that. And that's how I treat life. It's like boxing. You train for non-stop and you have to, the whole entire time you're training, think and know that you have no chance of losing. Mm. When I trained for a fight, I've had a few fights, there was no chance of me ever thinking I was going to lose. It was impossible. Yeah. I've, I've, so on, on, on you saying this, by walking into a room, I've been having this weird thought lately. So I struggle a lot with... Um, so now it's like a gym environment. I, I struggle with negative <coughs> ego. Um, Do you know there's some of those negative positivity as well? The camera talk about that. There's what? Negative positivity. Oh, okay, wait, wait, we're definitely going to get on mm. that as well. But so, so I struggle with ego when it infringes on other people's space. Yeah. When the point of your ego mm. is to lower others so yeah, that yeah, you yeah. can ride yeah, that so called yeah, yeah, right? And now i'll walk into a room and i'll go i'm not competing with the people in this room i'll walk in a gym and go this isn't my competition mm. I, I i know who is mm. the people in the audition room ha, that's me against you ironically i'll challenge you there you, you, my, you think my, it's not my thing is the reflection in the mirror is my only mm. competition my mentality and if they don't pick me they made a mistake Really? And they're like, peace, I'm out. Oh, see, I go in there, I, I spiral. That, that, they don't pick me, they pick someone yeah. else. I'm like, why? And yeah. I will oh, spend no, no, no. They, time. They, no, no, no. But, 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 but finding out the why, right? It happens to all of us. Mm. It doesn't change that it's a mistake. <laughs> it, doesn't, it is, because for me, I know that the reflection of my own competition, and if, 
I'm not saying I can't make mistakes or errors, but I do believe that I'll be the best for the job at all times. Even if it's a, they, they're looking for a white, nerdy looking guy, I'll be like, <laughs> he was at school, he was raised by white people, he was a nerd, he became cool, he became a jock, and he got a tan. There we go. <laughs> Also, I've seen them change those on, yeah, on pages but, but, often. But interestingly yeah. enough, didn't I say to you that me and you's biggest mistake will always be that we treat auditions like we treat sport? Yes. It's art. We have to, we have to get away from that because it isn't, it isn't sport. Mm. The best guy doesn't win. Mm. It isn't the 100 meter race. It isn't the 100 meter race. Hussein bought one all the time. Sometimes he fell started though and he didn't finish. Yeah. He got disqualified. It's not, it's not sport. If you're tired of wearing like really crappy, make your fingers go green jewelry, head over to Clocks and Colors for something unique and special. Clocks and Colors are based out of Toronto, Canada. They specialize in detailed handmade 925 sterling silver accessories. They also offer other products like handmade leather hats and home wear goods. Go to the link below to claim your discount with Clocks and Colors. If you're looking for some high end quality tees, some quality clothing, Use code STORYTIME below to claim yours with Saints and Sinners. I want to thank Saints and Sinners for this one. Great apparel. Kitted us out. Go get yourself kitted out too. Mm. I think for me, I, I, I think masculinity is like water or nuclear power. Both can do incredible things. You need water. Mm. It can change your life. But still it can drown you. Mm. It can flood you. You know what I mean? Nuclear power can change worlds, do incredible things in the wrong hands, Hiroshima. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? And that's what for me about masculinity. Masculinity is a beautiful thing. Yeah. But being a man who's trying to understand femininity and find the power in femininity and has made me a better actor. Maybe. Has made me... I've booked more work since I've been doing pole and drag than I've ever booked in my life. Wow, because okay. I, because as a physically biggest guy, not as big as you, black, and I know people's perceptions of what black is, that's been taught to us. Very masculine, masculine is that understanding? criminal at times, mm. even the, the shade of black as well. Really? So, yeah, it's an interesting, it's, there's an internal light, light skinned black is bad. There's an internal little fight among like, really? Yeah, big, 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 big politics. Um, so for me, trying to find vulnerability, the power of vulnerability has made me a better actor. And being able okay. to try and find the vulnerable and, and sometimes try and find the pain or, or trying to find, always trying to find the authenticity of it, but it's just the vulnerability for me. Mm. For every audition, I'm very vulnerable. I, and then I, I go vulnerable and I lose jobs. No, vulnerable. That's my goal. My goal. Really? So, so, so when you're sitting, a script comes in, bang, so it gets the script, like now with Woman King, for example. Mm. You got handed. You read it. Mm -hmm. What is your first go-to thought? What once you've read this character now? I, I I want to learn about the other guy just as much as I want to learn about my guy. I want to learn. The, I want to know that he's. I want to know his lines. Mm. I want to know what he's saying. All right. And for I'm guilty of not reading scripts. I'm really? Guilty. I'm guilty. I'm guilty of it. Wait, not reading anything at all, or not I, reading outside of your. I seat? look for my name. Oh, we everyone does that. Yes. But Everyone goes flick, 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 ha! Yeah, flick, yeah, flick, 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 But don't yeah. you finish to read the whole script? I do, yeah. yeah. So my mentality has always been what everyone else does is none of my business. For example, I'm sure there's someone out in the world talking about how Seb is a terrible human. Mm. Maybe those two, those girls who said that I flick and But what they say saying there is irrelevant to me. I'm here with you. Mm. Right? So I will find my name throughout and try to find my. So if someone's talking about me, I only care about it if it affects me in the future, right? Okay. But I can call myself out and say, when I watch Woman King, I did read it a bit, read through it. When I watch the final script, there were moments of me in it going, I didn't even know I was doing that for that. And it would have changed the choices you made. No, because, because the guy I was playing, I knew him so well. I just was in the moment. Mm. And, I did, and I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not unhappy with any of my choices. Mm. But I would have liked to be more informed, and that is my I, I, I messed okay. up there. Okay. So there was two battles that happened, and I, in my eyes, they were the different other way around. Okay. You know what I mean? Or like timeline. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or I was walking, and I thought, okay, I, I thought I was there. 
So I see. The lesson I made there is I need to be, I need to read it. And, and actually, what I'm going to do now is take three students from UCT or wherever, pay them whatever for the day, right? And have them sit there, you sit there, you sit there. Read for me, let's go. And read my scripts to me. Really? That's what I'm, that's what I'm going to be doing. Hearing them audibly, yeah, as opposed yeah. to seeing them physically yeah, in front of you. Yeah, I'm not, a, I'm not a good reader. Really? I'm not a good reader. But I, I struggled in class, I struggled in school. Uh, but hearing you've but got, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. as in, so you yeah, learn audibly, yeah, yeah. not visually. But, but I, was never, I was never a good reader. Social media made me a good reader, a better reader. Not a good, be, better. Like if, we, if we have a script reader, we have a script reader, I'm absolutely shitting myself. To read out loud. More so than when you're on set and actually doing the scene. Yeah, so I'm sure, I shut myself. So I will pre read before, or I'll read ahead to everyone. Right. Yeah, I'm terribly. I'm Jeez, I didn't know that. Very secure about it. Very insecure about it. I've always been insecure about my reading. I'm much better now. Okay. Uh, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not confident. Yeah. That's like, maybe everyone else has, because you speak beautifully. No, the, so your vocab is. So you, you, sp- you, sp- you, speak, you speak beautifully when you're not a good reader because. You've had to learn other things, yeah. <laughs> well, you had to learn things that were relevant towards your art form. Yeah, but I, I'm a terrible reader. I'm a terrible reader. Yeah. Because mm. I, I, I definitely, when I was younger, there was definitely a, a thing, because I always wanted to be expressive and read. Uh. For the first time reading. Same when I, I, did, I did a six-week course in America. Those actors, you give them a script, they're like this. Really? Get me. I want to choose. I want to do that. I want to die. I want to do that. I'm one of those, and then he. What? Well, oh, the, okay, and yeah. then he jumped. Sweet, yeah, yeah. you know, it's got a click. I'm a bad reader. Yeah. Jeez, like. Mm. Going on, you reading scripts, doing table readings, Woman King, working with Violet Davis and John Boyega. Mm. It's become a very good friend of mine, actually. Must be insane. He messaged me this morning, great conversation. He's such a good oak, right? No, oh, great man. Gangster. Great, okay. great actor. It's always so great to hear that people are so talented that they craft those are good yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, the successful ones you are good people. Yeah. What do you? What would you say was the biggest things you've learned from each of them coming out of this movie? I'm sure every day you were going, "My word, this is incredible!" Sucking the information. I think I, I think, it, I think I'm enough. I think I'm really? enough. Yeah. I think I'm enough. I'm enough. That um, you could stand your ground on such a big project. Let me tell you, film. Reminds me of cricket. Cricket is a team sport, but the most individual sport. Mm. You catch the ball alone. You bowl alone. You bat alone. <laughs> you keep alone. Team sport, huh? Yeah. yeah. Now, acting. You're close up. You're alone. That camera guy at the back there, he could mess up this whole thing. But we're a team, man. Eh? We're a team. But me, the camera thing is none of my business. I know a lot about it. I know why there's three cameras. I know, I know everything. Yeah. But he can mess it up. Me, we have a sh- you know, I could have a shot. And all, it, what you do is none of my business. Mm. But I mean, I'll still do my shit. You could be the worst presenter. I will bring it out of you. But it is cricket. It's not rugby. Because it's rugby, you scrum together. Yeah. You rock together. Every meter you eat together. counts together. And yeah. occasionally there's individual moments. But this is not a team sport. Uh, it isn't. Yeah. But it's still a team. It's, it's like an army. It's like one giant space of collaboration. Yes. Where everyone's trying to achieve the same yeah. thing by but, doing different but things. But it's still individual. <laughs> yes. <laughs> exactly. One of the reasons why, and I learned this on Still Breathing, the director said to me, Do I never go watch a scene of playback. Never. never. Like when they're, when they're in the room. Yeah, yeah the playback. They never go watch it to see what they I can do. I never different. watch it. Really? Because. Okay. Selfie! Oh. How about this? Selfie! What are you looking at? Ah. Ah, you're looking at yourself. You're not looking at the full scene. No, you're, you're looking at the you're whole You're going, scene. did I smile did nicely? I, I, yeah, Bryce, so that's why. It's my hair. Quiet. I realized that I was watching myself. No, I wasn't looking. You were watching so. Yes, uh, you weren't watching whoever you were playing yeah. or whoever you no, were portraying. No, I was watching. The cat, the, me, the character, or whatever, but I wasn't watching everyone else, the whole scene. And then I hadn't watched myself since still breathing, first day of still breathing. So you weren't picking up on the relevancy of why you were there? Yeah, I, was, I wasn't looking at the big, the, the big, the bigger picture. I was just uh, looking at uh, me. Uh, and I knew that, I knew that was a problem. Yeah. Have you ever had a day on set 
where you just feel like you can't get it right? Yeah. And sometimes that ends up being some of my best work. Yeah. yeah. I had one of those on, on season two of INS. Everything I did that day, I just thought was shit. Everything, 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 everything. The director, my partner in the scene, everyone could have gone, dude, that was incredible. And I go, mm-mm. Mm. Why do you think that happens? I think I say to young actors, yes, you're doing an audition. You're not trying to get a three minute perfect scene. You're trying to get perfect moments or beautiful moments. You're not going to get a full, beautiful... No! Wait, this is actually a really cool conversation. Wait, you, you, wait. so you're doing a three-minute audition? There's no way you're going to do a, a perfect scene for three minutes. But I'll give you moments. Moments of brilliance. Or, 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 or moments of, or, of perfection. perfection. Do you read the script and the line goes... And then he says, I love you. And you go, oh, that's going to be a moment. Or do you play it out and go, Shit, look, that spiked up and became one. Listen, I'm not trained enough to have that kind of shit. I don't have the technicality. I don't have the, I've never, I've never studied, you know what I mean? I don't have that. Okay. I'm still, I'm still depending on like feel, you know what I mean? But how about this? I've played people who've lost their mothers and I've only lost my mother now. So every single time I play someone better, I never gave it justice. I didn't have the experience. You don't feel you never get a job. Yeah, yeah, I'm just kind of thing. Um, but young actors, for me, I went uh, during COVID. I was in self tapes. I hate self tapes. But do you wait? Do you prefer being in the room? Oh, give me in the room. Really? The I'm room. the exact opposite. How about this? I'm the exact opposite. How about this? I learned. I was booking everything I went for on the self tape. Everything. Every single thing I went on, international local, everything. I booked everything, everything. On my first self nomination, every, I was, I was just acting self nomination. I was booking everything, everything. I wasn't getting callbacks. Everything first. Boom, oh, boom, 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 not boom. even the callback. Yeah, boom, 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 boom. everything. I was booking first, everything, everything. And everything I went for, I was booking during COVID. Everything. Rock films. I did like, I did like eight, nine films in, uh, during. Um, really? Yeah, yeah. Can I tell you who was my reader? My best friend who actually dropped me. She was my reader, not an actor. She's nothing, not an actress at all. But what she has got, she's not jaded. She loves film. She's been a human her entire life. She just looks for truth. When I when I do when I when I do when I, when I do self tapes with Bjorn, my closest brother, Bjorn Stabach, uh. we do like 48, 50 takes. <laughs> and still you're like, yeah, we need another And we still pick the earlier takes. My friend who's the the the, the, the who's the actress goes. First act, second act, we first act, we watch it, second act, watch it, I said, which one did you believe? Ah, oh, second one I believed. Cool, let's do another one. That's a cool question. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. Second That's one. That's a cool question. Second one, we go again, we do, now we do, uh, we try to change it up. So I do one take, whatever, whatever then I change it up for the second, da, da, da. then she picks, then I take two takes, whatever. Then she, uh, she picks. Uh, then I'm not jaded. I booked everything. Ah, the time is dying. Damn. Woman, who? Oh, uh, were, you, were you in damn? Yeah, I that, got was a, that was a cool I script. I got a separate nomination for that. That was a cool script. Was that in, 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 in Best Drama? Best Supporting Drama. Yeah, yeah Drama. Yeah, whatever. I booked everything! That one. Went to the studio. I booked Lessons Studio. I was booked now, I'm booking Lessons Studio. You know what I mean? I still, ha- I still hate self tapes. But there's a thing, we need truth. Mm. The thing for me about, you ask someone who's their favorite actor. I love Brad Pitt. <laughs> I do love Brad Pitt. Now, that's a sexy man. Do they love him because he's hot or he's a good actor? Because he's a fucking great actor. Yeah, he is. Your, he's, it's, it's unfair. Um, like, it's unfair how good he is. Yeah. But let me tell you. Because he makes it look too easy. <laughs> like, why people, is everything so smooth all the time? But there are people who are great looking and terrible actors. Oh, yeah. And I think the average human can see that. But what we don't realize is that we respect your audience. And my best friend, during COVID, because she was the only person who she lived in the tenth floor, um, okay. and I was in the sixteenth. Okay. So I was like, "Hey, come, <laughs> let's go." <laughs> you know what I mean? She was. That's great. We though. booked everything to the point that even now, my cousin and a friend are showing me that I'm better at the first audition than I am at the callback. I'm, uh, you know, I'm, 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 a, I'm a much better, and it takes me. They're taking the first take and then the second take, I'm better again. But auditions, there's a world. And I'm, be- I'm a better actor on set than I am on audition. Well. Same, yeah. So there's a world that's there yeah. that we've created here. Auditions it's, are... It's what they think is the world and what kind of a thing. So it's a weird kind of a thing. 
So yeah. I'm better. I'm a sport. Let's give it a sport analogy. Yeah. I could. Ne- you don't. You don't have this problem because you gym. I can't gym unless I have a target. I cannot. I can understand. I that. cannot. I, I can have no time for it. I haven't, really? up, I haven't picked up a weight since last of September. Because there's no training for women. Yeah. yeah. I need goals. I need. I need to achieve things. So if I'm on set. I'm trying to achieve something. I've got a goal, mm. but if I'm a, if, and, and the goal when I'm on an audition is I'm trying to get something. Mm. But my life doesn't depend on it. Cause I have the perception and the personality that goes, you want me, you'll be making a mistake if you don't have me, and if you don't pick me, you're missing out. And then you can walk out. The and then walk out. Without a oh. oh, you meet a girl in the club. She doesn't give you a chance. Ah, you know, you know, with me, another guy who's got multi award winning. Helps lives, changes people's. Oh, who's missing out in this? Okay, okay, I that, see that. Like, like racists, the racists. Oh boy. Oh, how about this? I, you won't see me fighting racists online. Or go, no, this person doesn't want to give me a chance because I'm black. You are missing out on certain races because of the color of my skin. Who's missing out here? You bitch, I'm out. That's a good point. You know what I mean? Like it's all perceptive. But now, if I walk into a room. And there's a man who's treating a woman. That's different to me. That's different. How? Because he, he's abusing his power one. She's not in the position of power there, right? And you, 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 if your personal opinion affects someone negatively, mm. in the sense of, and you are actually oppressing them ridiculously, so, and no one jumps, no, there I'm in. And I go fist fly. <laughs> like, I don't talk, me, I don't talk. If I see, no, 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 no. If I see a man do something to a woman from a distance, I'll look once. Like I was in Turkey the other day. I saw one guy scream at a woman. And I stood and I was like, Wait a second. Just swing once. Yeah. I'll destroy you. Just like that. Now, if I see racism, I'll still jump in and I'll be like, Now. That was right. Yeah. Listen, but he wasn't listening to me. But I can still jump in and fight for someone else. Mm. Right? But for me, mm-mm. I'm like, You do not. You, you don't want to. Because I'm black. Mm. I went over there. All my awards, all my achievements, and my skin color is your issue. I get the fuck out of here. Mm. So I don't. I, racism might sound something I. You can, you can, you can always look at it and say, like, Santa, I've spoken publicly for a hundred hours. There's a lot of things you could find that I've said that, like, I shouldn't have said that. What do I? Oh. And you chose skin color. There's, yeah. Like, I, I was like, there's so many things that I do, even on this thing. If you're watching this thing. There are things on this thing that you could say were wrong. And I would be like, yes. And if I will apologize profusely. I will not apologize for what I said. I'll apologize to defend you, right? I see. Okay. But, but, okay. But, but, but for me, my skin color is the least bad thing about me. Maybe talk about my ugly toe, right toe. Talk about my big ears, my big lips. Talk about something. There's a lot of other things here that are wrong about me. I have a big ears. Have you seen how big my ears are? But you got long hair. I've grown into them. That's why I have long hair. So like, so for me, those are the things. Like, for me, like, like, I I keep on going back to this, and that's so weird. But I really, really believe that the man I have potential to become is my hero. Mm. I'll never meet him. (laughs) You'll never meet him. Yeah. Because still the day I die, the moment before I die, I still be that guy. The chance of you being there near to my deathbed or me being on a bike accident, not slim to none. Yeah. I, I'm unapologetically, unapologetically, the self belief that I have is just extreme because it keeps me going. Mm. Uh, and I don't think people, I meet people sometimes who like have such bad self image of themselves. And it makes, for me, if you have a bad image of yourself, I don't want to be around you. Why? Because you think it feeds onto you? No, because I feel sad for you. Really? I feel sad for you that you, you haven't fulfilled your full, uh, full um, like potential. That makes so, me so, sad. Like, so I, I try to help you. Like you've, you've interviewed and spent time with a lot of very big, pe- very big talented people. Mm-hmm. Do you ever meet those people and they don't have good self-image? I, th- I think, I think, I think, spending time with a very powerhouse. But there's this insecurities there uh. that I see. Well, like we all do. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, She's also probably open to showing you. Yeah, she talks to you, but she talks about it. See, yeah. yeah. But it's easy. It, like, I want to just take a moment to go. It's easy for me to say everything that I'm saying because I'm in the position that I am in. But if my bank account was empty and I had nothing and I was living on the street 
it would be difficult to be here sitting here. See. Oh, 100%. Yeah, so I'm not, I'm not good, but, I, but I've worked to be here, so let's not get it fucking twisted. I have worked to be here, so I have to write Well, so me. it's deserved, but you also still have the point of perspective that, A, if things were different, I'd be different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's, how about this? Before 11 of August, 8.05 p.m., I was different before that. And now, I'm on the road to be someone else and learn to be better. But I would have never understood how it is to be this guy before mother died. Mm. And everyone has continuous, like to men, you'll meet a woman who's been raped before. And you can't, you can't be like, you will never understand how it is to be her. She didn't understand how it is to be her before it happened to her. And there's so many nuances of us being people that we don't, we need to, I'm, I'm a black, white guy. When I say black, white, I don't mean color. I mean, I, I'm skin color. I mean, I'm a, this, this. I'm learning more to be the gray area kind of guy. I'm learning more to be able to get the nuances of things. I'm learning to be that guy. You mean n- nuances of? Not everything's just black and white. I see what you're saying. And I'm trying okay. to learn this middle, I'm trying to be better at that. Okay. Because I'm pretty simple. Like I was with kids yesterday. I saw your stories yeah, and the kids yeah, bring and, out that yeah, side yeah, yeah. of you, yes. And I'm unapologetic of going, I need a please, I need a thank you. There's no other, nothing else, nah, nothing else. You know what I mean? There has so, to be a please and a thank you. There's a please thank you. But now I'm older, I realize, wait, your mom didn't teach you that. Your dad didn't teach you that. Ah, uh, so you're gaining perspective. There's a gray area there. I there's see. You meet a woman, right? You touch her on the shoulder. You're not allowed to, and she reacts, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> kind of thing. You don't know what's happened. That's made her so, react. So I walk in and I didn't go hug her immediately, right? Because mm. not everyone wants you to hug them. Oh, I'm bad that I hug everyone. So, <laughs> yes, but I hug everyone, no, but because too. I want to love everyone. I love everyone. but yeah. you notice I didn't come for the hug immediately. I didn't yeah. know what the, especially after COVID, I didn't know where the, uh, you, you know, uh, but it's the, the, the gray area of it all. Um, yeah, the gray area. It's something that I yeah. know get, 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 get better at. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to be, because I'm, mm-hmm. I'm a black, white guy. guy. I'm a, did you win or did you lose? I'd Again, ask, sport. How often do you go, did you draw? No, because the fuck did you draw? You both lost. Yeah, exactly. You both lost. Both weren't good enough to you, get the you win. You both lost. Yeah. It's, and yeah. yes, you're both coming at the same time when you're in bed. And you both have an orgasm together. That's the only time you're allowed to be at the same time. At the same time. At the same time. Yeah. That's called a draw. That's called a draw. Yeah, that's called a double win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's called a win-win situation. That's oh, not even a draw. Have you ever heard of the thing when someone there's a double knockout? In, in, yeah, when they're extension at the same time. Out. I, I don't give a fuck that they both went down. I want to see who, comes who gets up first. Yeah, yeah. But we all think yeah. that way. Everyone's no, going. No, who got up first? Not all, not all. You don't think so? No, no, no. I realized. Just not, immediately, I'm going to get, get, get up. Get up. Get up. Not everyone cares for winning. Not everyone. Does. I played a kid yesterday in uh, Thumbwall. I beat that little shit ten times. I beat her. I beat a kid. I beat her ten times. She was six, but she didn't know. <laughs> she didn't know you don't win that easy. It's just life. <laughs> that is. That is. I've I've had that encounter a few times. And my mother, my mother, I would have loved my mother to have been a mother with access to money, funds, all that mm. kind of stuff. Then she could have watched me play sport. My mother only watched me play one day. Of sport. Really? She watched me play. Water polo once. And I played with some puppets. And my mother said, Wow, you're so loud in the, on, the, on the field. <laughs> you know what I mean? But you were like, that's, Only on the field? That, I, mean, I mean, that's all you saw? You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. You only um, heard me yeah, and yeah, see my, me? My mother, my mother, they wanted to put me on Ritalin. Oh, oh, really? It was the first day of school. They were like, Oh, Sam is so loud and disruptive. He's all over the place. He's a problem. I was like, no, we won't put him in Italy. We'll put him in sport and speech and drama. Change my life. Jeez, what a dope mom, man. Yeah, change my life. Yeah, man. I would have been a lawyer. A doctor. Some, yeah, some, what something, you do something stupid. Yeah. Something stupid. Something stupid. That's brilliant. I had, was grade. I was bullied very badly. Grade Not a big year. two. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's one of the reasons I feel you in a gym, right? I, you know, I and then you learn how to let go of that eventually, yeah, I think. Yeah, I feel like we saw a thing that I can tell someone I'm going to be late quickly. Yeah, Karen? Um, and I had to go to a child therapist. Yeah, oh, wow. And the child therapist was like, 
this kid's ADD or this kid's ADHD yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And my parents were like, nope, no, he's not. Yeah. Oh, wow. Took me out the room, put me back in school. They're like, you'll be fine. Yeah. We're going to work through some things. We're going to sort them some, some, some things out. Cool. You'll be fine. You're not ADHD. And since then, never needed medication for anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, mothers, 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 mothers. Um, bro, it, it's, it's like bu- being bullied will affect you forever. We have all been bullied or been in oh, positions. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Like, I, I, I'm, I, when I walk into the room, I still think I'm this guy. Um, sorry. Um, I still think I'm this guy, but mm. I still sometimes have to navigate rooms and spaces. Mm. Um, sometimes I walk into a room of all, all white people, and I'm like, okay, hey, cool. I'm going in there as the only, what are their perceptions of me? I have to be... So I've always... Okay, how about this? So I've always been in sp- white spaces, right? Mm. And being in white spaces has actually... I've always tried to be this excellent black. Always. As as proof or oh, just for myself or for them okay. to see me. Okay, right? that's one of my questions. So so like in America, how what's the percentage of black African Americans in America? Do you think? In the whole of America, yeah. out of a hundred percent. Yeah. Good you try. Forty. Look, ah! how beautiful is that? Now because Americans, so here it is. So so a lot of the greatest sportsmen in the world are black people. Oh yeah. Uh, I mean, I mean, like particular these th- whatever. No, look at the NBA. Yeah, yeah. Look yeah. At the okay, NFL. okay, okay, okay. So, black people in America are twelve percent, really, including mixed people. Now, a lot of them were in white spaces, and in the white spaces, they decided to be these excellent. So they've been they've been handpicked to be this NBA, but they're not a majority. They are a minority, like you will not believe. including half black, half white. So is Latina in that? No, 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 no. Okay, no. okay, okay. Now, can you see how a lot of them have been serious? Mm. Because they are in a space that's predominantly white. I walk in and I have. To, they've done the same thing. They've gone, boss boy. I need to be taught. I need to be slammed down. The sprinters. And yeah. me, when I walk into white spaces. I know people have preconceived, I have preconceived notions of what white people are as well. So when wow. I was young, they were like, black people can't swim. I was like, I can. Oh, let me play with some rocks water bottle. So you know what I mean? So I, always, I love being the underdog. And I'm not saying in that room, okay, I'm not saying in that room, anyone was racist. I'm not saying that. I, it's my own thing. It's the same as, this is a great, a weird, a weird turn right. Okay. <laughs> <Really>. <laughs> so people, people talk about men are trash. Okay. People are like, what? Men, no, bullshit, what Because there's always men that go, men are, but not yeah. men. And I say to them, to men, I say, if we were had a shark tank of a hundred sharks, mm. all of those sharks won't bite you, but five will. There's only five great white sharks in here. And even those five, the chance of them actually attack you because they don't like our flesh. Yeah. Maybe one of them could eat you. Okay. But if you are a woman jumping into that aquarium, into that, how are you going to treat every shark? Yeah, there's still five of them. No, no. No, but just don't know which no, five. You know, you treat every shark, a hundred of them like bastards could eat you. Because, but, but, but because you don't know which of them. You don't know. Five. And us men have every flipping tool to hurt women. We're strong. We have penises. We have. So women must treat all of us like we have the potential to fucking kill them. Or rape, or don't move. Mm. So, all women must walk. Not every shark, woman's gonna be like, oh, that's a hammerhead shark. The percentage of it hitting me. No! We are all trash! To their eyes. And that's mm. how I see it. So, when some woman says to me, men are trash, I'm like, sure, I agree. Because, hey. Can what? You know? Until proven otherwise? Yeah. Is that the, and, even okay. if, and even if you proved otherwise, you can still do it. Oh, you <laughs> can still make mistakes. Yeah. Still, yeah. So, yeah, that's my. Yeah. yeah. That was a weird. No, but it had relevance. You nailed it. I tried it. I tried it. Yeah, you turned right. Who oh, I tied? But we came back again. I came back again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, quickly. Yeah, quickly, quickly. One yeah. of those. One yeah. of those. One of those. One of those. One more question regarding towards the Woman King. We haven't gone to see it yet. We're gonna go see it in cinema. I'm very, very, very excited oh, to go good. watch That's it. Good. What? I, I want to bring Viola Davis up again, just because sure. she's such a legend. I've got so many questions regarding her. Sure, man. You said before we started rolling that she would make so many mistakes mm. in mm. her takes. Mm. What was that? Um, during it, I, 
I never understood it, but then I realized we would shoot for 10 hours and shoot and we still make a mistake five minutes before we finish. We would do the, mistake, the whole thing for five, 10 hours and shoot. She'd be like, you're in control, Ira, you're in control. I just felt like she was so in it. There's a moment that doesn't feel vulnerable and true mm. or truthful. There's like a, and she said, she'll be fine, she'll be carrying on, you know? Watching her over, watching this, there's little things that she was doing that I didn't even see. But for me, the mistakes of it and the being open to, I'm so sorry guys, sorry. The, the first thing, actually, you know, like a monologue. Sorry, sorry guys, I kind of she, oh, but no, the mistakes. And, but isn't it funny how when a kid is two years old, learning how to walk, oh. and they fall every single couple of seconds, no one is like, ah, never fall, eh? Goodness gracious. Might as well just stop oh, learning Oh, give up on this little shit. Yeah. Fell again? Mm-hmm. What, again? You know? Yeah. But only when you're adults, does mistakes feel like the worst thing in the world? Like they shouldn't happen. They shouldn't happen. Mm. Like, but when, and when you get to her level as well, you know, it's Viola, you know, whatever. But it, they say kids take about 3,000 knocks and falls, about 3,000. But knocks that if you did it as an adult, would either, either break or, you know, chip or um, the bleed now, but for kids, they're so like bendable that, you know, yeah, anyway. it just bounces. But for us, me, knock, oh, that's the day. Oh, <laughs> shit, <laughs> ah, no joke. I'm done, I'm done, I'm Deep done. Heat. You know Change I mean? my diet. I didn't know, yeah. before I came in, my friend's kid, Musawani, was Musawani's kid's birthday. He's like two. Yes. She's two. Okay. And I lifted up her head and I went, whoop. And, but there's never a light there because it's always under a table, but they've moved it for the birthday. But now there's a light yeah, there. Yeah. No light there. Hit her head. Boom! And I brought her down, and she was fine here. Until I turned her, and everyone was like, <gasps> And then. And then she went. Society. Uh, That's society going, You've, something went wrong. You, and she goes, It hurts. It, it, it hurts. Ha ha. Oh, it hurts. Oh. <laughs> then come the tears. That's how it happens in the world. We make the same mistake, and then it was like, oh, you're fine, carry on, get up, get up, get up, cool, get up, get up, get up. And yeah. we get older, and it was like, mistake, fail, fail. Yeah. So that's for me. That's such a cool thing to so learn from. Right? I, I take, I do motivational talks at schools. I don't do primary school. I know I don't do more. I only do high school and up, right? Because by choice, yeah. Because primary school kids don't realize that failing is fine. Primary school kids are told failing is bad. You failed. Bad mm. for fail. High school kids know that you can fail and still and still have but something. Under, they, they, they don't have. They don't have. The, they don't have. They're at that level stage where everyone's telling them failing is bad. High school, you also start to learn. I might fail at this, but I'm yes. really good at that. So remember, when we're high school, yeah. we're able to go bad at maths, great at science. Nah, nah, nah. I see. But when you're younger, uh, just bad. Yeah. The <laughs> word fail is not good. I see. Shit, that's interesting. And then they try put you on record. Yeah, they try. They try. Just do drama class. Yeah, do, do drama and sport. Shut up, I'm a strong class, eh? Yeah, man. Um, but yeah, man, that's... Mm. But currently, the, the, the point... I, I feel very creative in the space that I'm at. Mm. And the, the losing one thing, the focus is... Mm. What's, where, 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 where's your headspace pushing you? My headspace is... I hate asking the question yeah. of what's next. It's yeah, yeah, yeah no, no, but where, where, where's it pushing you? We're going to do more motivational talks and, and, and thingies, and then I'll mm. go back to comedy. Well, really? yeah, going back to comedy, doing um, a one-man show, like a special, um, and in it, it's, it's about masculinity, to a masculinity vulnerability. That's gonna be cool. Comedy, that kind of thing, and then I, and then I'm doing a motivational talk. That is, I've always, always, this has been planned before, not but okay. the, the okay. talk is fighting, and people don't realize that fighting isn't just physical fighting. We have fights continuously. I was fighting traffic. I was fighting to get your time. I was fighting. The, in, the trauma of me being late, internal trauma, that's what I was fighting. I was fighting that. But we're always fighting every day. Mm. Uh, we made, in, in the day, we're making many decisions and the analogies from everything I've learned from fighting. Um, so I, I jump into the ring sparring professionals and in my head, I'm like, I'm gonna get one punch. As long as I get one, I'm happy. As long as I get one, that could yeah. knock you out. Yeah. And that's life. Yeah. But Viola, it's a great, great experience. Damn, um, she's such but it didn't feel like working with a celebrity. That's cool though. Eh? Yeah, didn't and John Boyega as well. Yeah. Damn, he's got a beautiful career. Eh? No, great guy. No, great guy. But ironically, a great time. I had a sit down with him like this once. And you can feel that he, 
he believes he deserves more. You can feel like he deserves it, he needs more. And you know, he, he knows that he's, he's, like, he's like that incredible, well, I, be, I believe one of the best actors in the world. Mm. But he hasn't given that mm. yet. Mm. I think he, he knows that. He knows like, it's coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's done. Yeah. Mm. That's a cool confidence. I'm but excited to see you know, it. Hopefully. Guys, at the end of the day, if you're watching this and you're an actress or actor or performer, whatever you're watching, whatever you're thinking, it isn't a hike. It's not about getting to the top. It's not about getting to the end. This is a treadmill. And the worst thing you can do is stop. Turn down the, the yeah, speed. And walk. Yeah. And walk. Yeah. Turn it down to walk it. Or lift up whatever. But A, do not stop. Do not give up. And why that analogy is flawed, even though I said it, because on a treadmill there isn't obstacles. But with us, there is obstacles. There's, obstacles. there's hills. There's blah, blah, There's failure. There's blah, blah, blah. But this isn't a hike. The only analogy of hike is that there is ups, and there is downs, down. there is brocks, blah, 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 but you continuously do it. Yeah. The worst thing you can do is stop. And the irony of it, when you're running at full speed on a treadmill and you hit stop, ah, 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 ah. you are flying on that motherfucker. Yeah. You are flying. You are flying. Try stopping. Try stopping on the treadmill. You end you, up you, on you, uh, you meeting the person on the treadmill in front of you. You end quickly. up on the, you end up on a YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> the only time it's good to press stop on the treadmill is when there's something around your neck that's strangling you. For the rest, hey, <laughs> safe word. Say yeah, bro. Pineapple juice. Yeah, yeah, yeah there yeah. we go. Don't <laughs> just keep it going. And the thing is for me that I that's why for me any time a young person says, "Sir, can I please?" No, if you want to be, if you want to be to mentor you, I'm not available for full-time mentorship. No, but if you want to spend a full day with me, come. I'll go to jump. I'll feed you. I'll whatever. But the full day we'll spend together, and we will, we will. I'll teach you. I'll share not everything I know. I will. I will. I, I will share anything and everything with anyone. Anything. I don't mind. I'll share anything. I, I have nothing. For me, if I'm going for an audition and I think you're better for it, I'll call you. I'll be like, I'll go to jump. I've got an audition next week. I think you're perfect for it. I'm going for it anyway, but I think you're perfect for it. I'll see you there. I mean, I, that's cool. It's, yeah, that's cool. Um, and it, it takes time, man. It takes time. It takes time. But everything I've said, everything I've said, at the end of the day, it all means fuck all. It all means fuck all. Because I, I would turn it, I would give it all up in a split second to just see the other man. It all means anything. Means nothing. Don't take yourself so fucking seriously. Don't take yourself fucking seriously. At the end of the day, it all means nothing. It all means nothing, 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 nothing. My mother not being at the screenings. My mother not being at the television is part of me. It all means fuck all at the end of the day. So we've spoken about for an hour and 20 minutes about this thing. But this thing means less to me than smelling my mother. Mm. You know what I mean? Because I know her fragrance. Mm. Touching her. So everything we spoke about, all the training, all the work, all the ups, all the fails, all the ups and downs, everything, all that is fucking bullshit at the end of the day. Like, I listened to Linkin Park, in the end, it doesn't even matter. Mm. And, and for me, that's where I'm at now. And ironically, by catching the ball to the back when you fall back, boom, and it's just people coming towards you, and you're like, fuck, I ain't kicking this, I'm going full out. Mm. For me, losing my everything and losing her will make me a better actor. It'll make me achieve goals. It'll make me be careless. Not careless. It, mm. I'm careless. I'm sitting here telling you now, I will do more. Mm. I will achieve more. A management in America, I could move to America, I'm not going to. But losing it has made me realize that it means fuck all. All, all that. It means nothing. Without the people that you love. Yeah. I'm excited to see you do more. Oh, bro. I'm, I'm excited up. to hear your motivational speaks or talks. Speaks. English fuck you up. Imagine you are me. English gets me. Dude. Imagine you are me and you it's your third language. Is it your third language? Yeah. That's embarrassing. I only have one. I can speak Afrikaans. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah. 
We tried to do it on an episode of this and it did not go well. <laughs> it did not go well. People even messaged me being like, you can do better than that. Yeah, and I was like, no, I can't. I think I got nervous. <laughs> I did one audition in Afrikaans and halfway through I stopped. And I was like, sorry guys, this isn't working. I can't do it. I've done a kick net. Um, uh, I did a uh, Yeah. And it's amazing. Of course people can speak of course with you nicely. I can do this. Yeah. Talk, 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 we fight. Yeah. Then they go action. Ah! So, <laughs> 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 like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, 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 I like people coming on and telling their story, yeah. which is what's so beautiful about you sharing the passing of your mom and the relevance that it has to Woman King. Mm-hmm. I like hearing you mm-hmm. speak. Thank you. Because you've got a confidence mm-hmm. that I envy in, in, in many different situations. But the, the person you are now, from, from the last time we, we filmed together, mm-hmm. you have a soft, vulnerable piece but yeah, that's because I've lost everything. That I don't think I've ever seen. With yeah, because I've lost, I've lost everything. And protect it. No, no, it's, no, it's staying. It, it's yeah. gonna, it's gonna be a choice. It's staying. It's yeah. not, that's why I'm now. But to, to everyone watching this, I just want to take just a, a tiny moment just to speak to men and just go. Um, it, it, it's not enough to love your mother. Mm. It's not enough to love your sister. It's not enough to love your best friend. But every woman who you come across continuously every single day is someone and, and it's time we get our hands dirty um, so I do a lot of work in the menstruation uh, uh, space and, and period poverty mm-hmm. we, and my charity we give to, to, we give pads to 30,000 women every single month opening up one factory and what I've realized is that every packet that we give out she's someone and for me I think uh, we men there's no such thing as woman issues there is no such thing as a woman issue because even Women not being able to have pads is a man issue as well because that that that's 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 uh, humanity is made in there, mm. you know. People are made in there, mm. and for me, you can't feed a hungry child or a hungry girl, and you can't teach a girl with blood running down her legs. It's the simplicity of that, or you, you, a woman is a woman. It's a pack of a pack of ten pads, right? For us, we have a five rand for where we do five rand. If she's not worth five rand. How are you asking, how could she get gang raped by five men? Well, she wasn't worth five rand before. Mm. And now you want her to be worth anything else when she's getting gang raped. You know what I mean? It's, weird, it's a small little weird thing, but I go back to going, there are no such things as women issues. It's humanity. Mm. And we as men need to get our hands dirty, we need to fight and be able to speak and be allies. When I say allies, I don't mean you have to be the loudest. You just have to be support. Mm. And sometimes women just want to be heard. So sometimes if a friend of yours has been there, like a little message of a woman in my DM to tell me that they rape stories. Other times they just want to be heard and believed, right? Uh, and for men, I just challenge you to be accountable. I challenge you to be vulnerable. And I challenge you not to strive for perfection because for me, if you're a woman and you're looking for a perfect man, I want you to be perfect first before you ask for a perfect man. There's no such thing. Mm. And I'm, I'm just at that, at that space. I'm flawed. I'm fucked. I'm... I've got chips on my, I've got things that are flawed, but I, but so are diamonds. Diamonds are flawed as well. Mm. And for me, I'm on a journey of self-discovery and I think, I think the next level is now, um, when I'm with my mother. I die. So, but thanks, man. I'm yeah. excited for it, man. Thank you so much for coming on. Where can people donate money to your, to your cause? Um, currently, my child is giving so much money, to, truth be honest. Um, mm. uh, I, I'm going to do something that my charity would not want me to do. Um, I challenge you to buy a packet of pads, put it in your car, okay. get the traffic light, okay. a sandwich, a packet of pads. Um, that's a dope idea. Currently, actually. We, we, do that. currently we have so much money that's coming in, so I, I, I don't want to ask for more. Um, wow. But I just want you to just a packet of pads in your car. Sick. A pack, you know, a sandwich. Um, and yeah, man, it's end period poverty. And for me, I believe our end period poverty in, in the Western Cape in the next two years, and that's my mission. Right now. Is that me? Sick. Let's pleasure. do it. Thank you, sir. Thank you, man. That was dope. Thank uh, you so much. Okay, cool. One second. I didn't tell everyone that this is the most comfortable podcast on the planet. I forgot to say that. But I said it now! <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you, Fat Sack. You guys are dope. This was actually this was a fun episode. Actually, let's, 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 How comfortable is this? Let's, let's talk about it. I, I, hey? let's, let's talk about it. How comfortable is this? Let's talk about it. Well, you were talking earlier about how your fat sack just kept growing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't that a weird line? I never thought I'd ever say that line. Yeah, yeah, yeah.